So in the morning, we saw one example of uh, how to create Amazon Bedrock flows. In this example, we'll create another flow and see how we can use the iterator and the collector node of flow, right? So let's start creating that flow. So I'm in Amazon Bedrock, uh, uh, clicked on flows and then create flow. And let's say this is example four in this example, we will see how to use iterator and collector node. I'll create and use a new service role for this. Uh, let me create the flow. Now, okay, let me delete this. And in the input, since I'll be using iterator and collect, the input will be an, uh, the output from the input will be a array, array, array of uh, inputs, which we will then uh, send it to an iterator, right? So in this iterator, I'll say array of questions, Right. We'll send multiple questions as an input, and then the iterator will iterate on each of the questions, right? And this one, uh, the input array, uh, so the array item will be string, and the array size is number, right? So from the array, let me drop it to array here. So the array of questions will come here and then I need to bring in a prompt node, right? Let me bring a prompt node and this prompt will say uh, uh, answer general question, right? General Questions. I will define the prompt in the node for that I need to select a model. Let me select the anthropic cloud model. And then give the prompt, let's say answer the provided question below and then the placeholder for the question, right? So now we will see there is a, I can connect to the node now. So from the array of input, iterator will iterate each input. For each input, I'll get the array item. That array item now I'll connect to the prompt input. So, Iterate, if I have two questions, for each question it will iterate and for each question it will send to the prompt and I need to collect it now, right? Collect those um, answers because the answers will also be an array uh, for, because for each question I'll have an answer. So let me bring in the collector node here now and the collector node will name, say that collect answers. And here again, the type will be string. So basically from the prompt, the model completion, that string, right, will collect in the array item of the collector because the collector will also collect each response and put it into a, uh, a, um, array of string, so let me arrange this a little bit. So this one, this one, and the collector, and from the collector, I will now send it to uh, the flow output, right? 
so it will be array again so the collector i need to can say that it's the collector also uh, will be an, uh, sorry the output will be an array because the collector will be an array of responses and those responses now i'll send to the flow output which is uh, again the the input to that flow output will be this array and then finally it will give me an array of response right so that's uh, it we created the flow let's save it and hope that it will okay there is an error what is the error uh, okay the array size is unfulfilled right that is because this array size of the collector i need to connect it to the array size of the iterator right now i sh it should be good right so now my flow is done so now in the input, I will send, that's a three question, right? It will be an array of three questions. So first I'll say, where is Taj Mahal? That is my first question. Second, I'll say, where is Eiffel Tower? It's my second question. And let me have a third question also, which is... Uh, where is let's say statue of liberty liberty right so now i have three questions from the input i'm sending to iterator as an array item iterate will iterate each on each item each question it will send to the prompt and the collector will collect the responses and send to the output. Let me run it. Let's see how it goes. So it is now trying to get the answer. There are three questions, so it is taking some time. Yep. So I got the answer for the first question this is the answer to where is Taj Mahal uh, it ends here it ends here the next question answer is the Eiffel Tower this ends here and the Statue of Liberty right so that's how the collector iterator and the collector works if I look at the trace, flow input node had three questions. Then I have array of questions. Each question is an, uh, is an array item in the array, right? And the first uh, question is, where is Taj Mahal? Second is, where is Eiffel Tower? And the where is Statue of Liberty, right? The answer node, the prompt node, answer the question right and finally uh, the collector collected those responses and sent it to the flow output node right so this this is the final final trace uh, collect answer as the array of responses right uh, and the output trace that is the flow output which uh, output node we got the Array of answers, right? So that's how um, the that's an example of how uh, we can use the iterator and the collector. That's all for this recording. I am continuing to explore uh, Amazon Bedrock flows, and I'll come back with more recordings on this service. Thank you.